Today's reading comes from the 18th chapter of Jeremiah. It's a powerful passage. And what I'd like to do is read the first six verses to you from the New Living Translation. These will probably be familiar truths, but I want you to lean into them with fresh ears this morning. Listen, verse one. The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said, go down to the potter's shop and I'll speak to you there. So I did as he told me and found the potter working at his wheel. But the jar he was making did not turn out as he had hoped, so he crushed it into a lump of clay again and started over. Then the Lord gave me this message, O Israel, can I not do to you as the potter has done to his clay? As the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in my hand. You know, I once heard someone say, God works behind the scenes. And that's very true, that oftentimes God is working, but it's behind the scenes. But here's the deal. He is behind every single scene in your life and mine. See, in the book of Jeremiah, we see God pictured as a potter, someone who's in control, someone who shapes and forms and fashions the clay for whatever he desires. And generally what he's desiring is to create something that's useful something that can bring benefit to others and an element of pride to him. You see, and that's why you exist. That's why I exist. You and I exist for the glory of God and for the good of others. I once heard someone say, two of the most important days in a person's life are the days that they're born and the day that they find out why. When you learn who you are, how God has wired you, how he's created you to be, how he's formed and fashioned you as clay, you can step into your God-given design to bring glory to him and good to others. So here's the thing I want to share with you. You are not an accident. God has purpose for you. He has a plan for you. He's the potter. You, me, we, we're the clay. The best thing you could do today is to surrender your life, your actions, your will, your heart, your resources into the hands of a very capable potter whose heart and intention for you is not evil, but good, to form and to fashion and to shape you into something, into someone who brings him glory and good to others. And that spot in your life, that's the sweet spot where you're living and walking in your design. So today, trust that the potter's in control and yield your life afresh into his very capable hands.